guys, this is the fourth video of a several part series on common scams that you need to know about before studying anything else about your small business. Remember to watch until the very end of this video to see the entire playlist containing all of the common scams that you need to know about that I've personally encountered on PayPal, Etsy, my website, and Amazon. The scam I'm going over today, I like to call the hostage situation. In most variants of this scam, the buyer will threaten you with a one-star feedback if you do not send them free items or send a refund. Etsy calls this extortion, has very clear policies on how to handle the situation. To be protected by Etsy, you must communicate exclusively through Etsy conversations, which is a good policy and habit to get into anyways. Sometimes it's easier for customers to converse through email, and in light situations such as simple questions about your product, it's probably fine. But I like to remind my customers that I usually get back to them much faster if they message me through the Etsy platform. This helps keep 99% of communication on the Etsy platform where everything is documented for everyone's protection. If a buyer does threaten you with one-star feedback and leaves a one-star review, unfortunately, you can't always get this feedback removed by Etsy. Etsy typically only removes feedback that directly mentions USPS or Etsy. Etsy has this policy because they want buyers to be reviewing you, not Etsy or USPS. But it can't hurt to send Etsy an email if this extortion actually does happen to you. Sometimes Etsy will actually ban the buyer and remove the feedback, but it's not 100%. Just remember not to give in to the buyer's demands as they will tell their friends or post about this online and you will have a flood of additional customers coming back trying to do the same thing to you. Remember, the extortion rule goes both ways. You risk losing your shop if you ask your customer in some way to alter or change the review to something positive. Sellers sometimes think that they can offer to send freebies to get their customer to switch their review, but this is against Etsy policy, so don't even think about it. Thanks for watching guys. Remember, subscribe below if you want more tips and tricks and there's a playlist up here with more scams that you need to know about. Bye.